Good afternoon, everyone. Just wanted to go over the third and final part of this company store series. So in the first uh, video, what we did is we discussed uh, the basics of company store, custom products, what they are, um, talked about the new feature that we added, which is the product templates that we've pre-built for you guys that you can copy over um, if you're looking for uh, products to present in a company store. Um, and then uh, part two, what we did is we went in more in depth on how to create these custom products, copy them over from the supplier, create them from scratch, and then how to add them to a uh, product list so you can utilize them on the website. So now what we're doing is we're going to show you how to add it to a website and finalize your company store, create it and customize it um, to your customer, your client or your customer. So let's go ahead and uh, start back in the fulfillment account. So if we go to account tab, child accounts, uh, go and log into fulfillment. If we go to our product list. You can see these are all the products that we added, uh, custom products that we added to a product list. And if we go over here, click advanced features, product list, we added them to the, the called DC store. And so we have those five products added. Now we just need to add it to a website. So if we go up here to our initials, click on it, go to switch accounts, takes us back to the main account. And now we're going to start creating the website. So we're going to go to websites, hosting manager, click add new website. Here you'll see all the templates that we've pre-built. Um, any of them will work, but I recommend using the company store template. It's the most simple. So if you scroll down here, you can see the company store template. You can preview it too, to take a look at it. And so what you're seeing here is these are different product collections, um, which will be the different lists. So if you have multiple product collections, they'll show up as boxes here. In our case, we're only gonna have one. Um, and then you can also, like, let's say you had multiple collections here, like uh, you had one for apparel, you had one for hard goods, or you had one for men, you had one for women's that you wanted to create separate product lists for them. Um, you could have them all show up here and these boxes, and then you can have a featured one down here that shows everything, and that's called a product ribbon. So we'll show you an example of that, um, as you can see here, but uh, we're gonna just pull in the one list to keep it simple. So we'll go back to our here, um, our dashboard, and we're gonna click use this template, and we're gonna call it DC uh, store, and we're gonna select a file, so here we're pulling from our desktop and we're going to add a logo. In this case, it would probably most likely be your customer's logo. Uh, so we'll go here, we'll find one. Pull that in. And click just one more step. And then you can see here, this is gonna be uh, DC automatically creates a URL for you and provides you with a free SSL certificate. So you can map a domain to it or a subdomain if you want, but we will provide you with the uh, URL. Um, click create website. And you can see it's going through the process here. Now I'm going to click customize website, which will take me into the website editor where I'll do all the customizing and stuff like that. So you can see right now, it's not really geared towards the color theme of what I'm looking for. So we'll, we'll get that updated here in a second and we'll change that. So we'll go ahead and hop out of the editor for now. Uh, close this out, this one here, and then we'll come over here and we'll go to uh, websites again, hosting manager, because we want to remove what's currently on there. Click manage, go down to product collections, click manage here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take out, uh, so for the all products, we're going to add a filter here. And under common, you'll see product list. We're going to pull in our DC store. That's all our custom products. Hit save. You can see it's the five. And then I'm going to delete these other ones because I don't really need them because it's just a store and I don't need anything else at this time. So I'm deleting the collections that came with that top seller and virtual designer because it doesn't apply to my store. Now I'm going to click publish. Publish all changes. And then I'm going to go one step back and click edit, which will take us into the website editor. 
And so now it, the website editor is ready to go. I don't have the top sellers um, anymore. So I'm just going to, you could either click on the pencil, which will edit any of the blocks. And if you click on it one time, it'll show you where it's at in the navigation menu over here. So you can either click on the pencil and click delete or just double click and delete it. Um, so I don't really need this row anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the row and get that out of here because I'm just doing one at the time. Catalog block, if I double click on that, you can see it's set to uh, um, all collections. So I'm good to go there. I don't have to do anything. I just have one collection right now. And then I'm going to click save. I'll come down here, double click. And I'm going to shrink this down to, let's say, 20. So if we look at it here, uh, shrink these down. Uh, let's let's even go like 10. Let's try 10. Yeah, that looks good. Because I want to, my design, and it's up to you, I want a bigger logo at the top, smaller logo at the bottom. So now I'm going to click Save. Got that good to go there. And now I want to start matching the colors. So if I go over here to settings tab up top, you can see the one that came with it default global theme is company store theme. So what I need to do is build a theme, a new theme with the colors that I want. So after I save it, I can close out of it, close out of this, the preview, come back here to hosting manager. And now I'm gonna go, you can click on websites here, or you can just do websites hosting manager again. And we're gonna click edit themes. I'm gonna click add new theme. And I'm going to call this one DC Store, so I know what it is. The base theme is going to be the one that was the base theme from the template. In this case, it was a company store template. So a company store theme. Click Create Theme. And you can see it pulls up with the colors. So now what you need to do is just kind of have the HTML or hex code um, that you want to use for the colors. So you can see here, normally what we do is we'll adjust the, the base colors here. So primary, success, info, warning, danger um, as needed. So what I like to do is, in this case, I'm going to take like a, a blue or a different blue color. So I'm going to replace the brand primary. And you'll see it change right here once I add it in there. So now it's a different color there. And then I'm going to change the warning to kind of the color of the logo. So if I go here and add it, change that, I have an extra, there we go. And then I'm gonna click save. And now if I go there, go back to website manager, go to manage, click edit. So I'm gonna go back into the website editor. If you're already in the editor and you're doing the theme at the same time, just make sure you refresh the editor. That way it'll be up to date. I'm gonna to go to settings and I'm gonna to go to global themes and I'm gonna look for the one that I just created, which is called DC store. And you'll see now all that's changed. And then I can click save and then do a live preview. Now you can see the products that I have here listed that I've added to my company store. So here's the one that we copied over from the product templates. So if we click on it, you'll see how it looks when you have multiple colors. So they have the quantity they select, they can uh, choose the color and then the size. You can also add another if you wanted to. So let's say I wanted one black uh, extra small, add another and I want one black, uh, or sorry, extra large and I want one black uh, 2XL. Then it's going to go ahead and it's going to add those based on the details. You can see the different costs. The base cost in this one was 42. The upcharge is 44. If we go back and look at the one that we created from scratch, which would be the, the PS, and it's only one color, uh, we'll take a look at it here. And it'll be the same similar, but it doesn't have the color since it's just the one. And you can click view details on the price. Um, and then they'll be able to order that. Everything will be connected back to your DC account. So once a order comes in, you'll be able to go to your DC account and you'll get a notification. Uh, you can view the orders. You can also set up e-commerce on these websites, but by default, it'll allow the customer to submit the order to you. And then you can follow up with them to figure out how you want to process the order. Um, and then also how you want to collect payment from your customer. So. 
that's going to do it for this series. That'll conclude our company store uh, series here. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call, 888-516-7401. Our office hours are Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, or you can take email us anytime or take advantage of the live chat. You'll see the bubble down here. Just click on it and enter in, in your information and it'll connect you over and help you out and answer any questions you need. Hope everybody's doing well and we'll talk to you soon. Uh, remember, uh, if you have any questions, let us know. That's what we're here for. And stay tuned for more helpful videos.